Moving on, we're going to talk about QB rumors. We're going to talk about Jalen Hurts allegedly getting fifty million. We spoke about that a little bit on and our last Daniel Bones. show, but but now we're going to go a little bit Fires more in depth. Jones. And then Daniel Jones reportedly wants forty five million. <laughs> now, <laughs> Drew, let's start with you. Of let's, course, let's start I with knew, you and I DJ. Knew, I knew this was going to happen. So he wants what? He wants allegedly per, forty five per, per, per source per source per which, which <laughs> automatically I, it's not sitting right with me. I feel like they did this purposely. To, to just have a laugh at Daniel Jones and try to make him feel like he's not deserving of this $45 million, which, hey, I can sit here and tell you I don't believe he's worth $45 million. I've been very adamant. I think that if, you're, if you are the New York Giants, the proper contract for Daniel Jones is a three-year contract where in these three years, it's either 30 to $35 million. That would be ideal where he really hasn't put forth a strong performance to, to deserve $45 million. But at the same time, this past season, he showed clearly why he should be your quarterback moving forward. Because, again, what are your options? Mm -hmm. He is one of the better dual-threat quarterbacks in the league. He is extremely accurate. He decided this season to take care of the football for the first time in his career, and that was the main takeaway for me. He also won a playoff game this year, which a lot of really good quarterbacks can't say. He has more playoff wins than Justin Herbert. Of course, that's not speaking about. <laughs> that's, not, that's not speaking on the quarterback. Him, that's Drew. more speaking about the team. But I'm just nah, saying chokes. we need to, give, to we need to give Daniel Jones a little bit of credit here. Just outside, of course, of the fact that the Giants aren't this amazing team, but Daniel Jones was a huge reason why they made the playoffs at all. Of course, I think you go down the list. Brian Dable has to be number one. Saquon Barkley, Daniel Jones, however you want to shake it, needs to be next on that list. Now, Daniel Jones does not deserve $45 million, especially for the fact that this is the only... What's going on, guys? No, I'm just surprised to hear that from you. I'm not going to sit here and 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 lie and, and yeah. spit nonsense. I don't I believe that. he deserves $45 million. I genuinely don't. When that came out, I was upset. I was upset for the fact that I don't think Daniel Jones deserved the slander that he was receiving mm. because he played very well this season. This was by far the best that we've seen him in totality. He put forth a great rookie season. He did turn over the ball a lot, but as a rookie, that's all right. Unfortunately, that trend continued at, in, in his sophomore and junior year, mm. but he won games. He was very efficient, took care of the football. What more can you ask for, especially on a team that had no wide receivers? Absolutely none. Shout out to Isaiah Hodgins. He was extended. He was he was he's being brought back. That's huge. But the fact that Isaiah Hodgins is your number one wide receiver is a is an issue. I'm sorry. I can't see that shit next season. Simple as that. <laughs> so yes, I don't believe he deserves 45 million. I think that if I'm the Giants, I'm around 30 to 35 million. I saw you tweet. You're against him getting the franchise tag. Uh, Daniel Jones. Saying? Correct. Yes, because do you have anything more to say? On that? That's really it. Okay. I'm just curious at that because I'm I'm more than all right with that. Give him one more season to prove it. It's going to be around what? 31? 30, yeah, 30 31 million, which is around exactly where I want to see Daniel Jones. And now this is your test, Daniel. Are you worth that 45 million? This is your prove it season. Mm -hmm. The issue with the franchise tag is you can't get creative with the money. It's 30 million guaranteed. So yeah. this year, the Giants don't have a ton of flexibility. They have some, like all teams do. But when you do the franchise tag, it's $30 million guaranteed. It hits this year's cap number. You can't get weird with it. You can't defer money, right? It's just a one-year contract. So while giving them the franchise tag makes logical sense, you also talked about it. You need to upgrade receiver room, defense. There's a lot of upgrades, including paying Saquon Barkley. Yeah. So when you do give Daniel Jones that one-year deal, it allows you not to commit to him long-term, but it also limits the improvements you can make on your on your entire team this year. I'm glad you said that. <laughs> <laughs> You've been doing that. Wow, yeah, you, I know. I'm gonna, a, lot of your, a lot of shit in your throat. You got bronchitis? I think no. his throat's just full. <laughs> Why is that? Right. I don't know. <laughs> he got sick. Um, you mentioned you think he's roughly around $30 million. So I, I went on my little laptop. -y, laptop and I looked, Yeah, and I looked up NFL contracts. This contract that you love. Three years, I'm assuming ninety million dollars. That'd be around, yeah. Would put him right next to Kirk Cousins, Dak Prescott, Kyler Murray. Beautiful. So, you look at all three of those teams: Minnesota, not Pretenders. ideal. Pretenders. Their team pretty much is stacked up with a bunch of contracts. A lot of their players are big names, but not that good anymore. Dallas, still, still, still some holes. Their best players are on rookie deals for the most part: C.D. Parsons, Trevon Diggs. They still have gaping holes, and they 
their money is tied into Zeke, right? Also a team that lost in the second round. And then Matt Ryan. We don't have to we can skip that part. Kyler Murray is one of them also. His team has a lot of holes and he's already making pretty much a good amount of money. I say that to say How this. much is Kyler making per year? I have total salary thirty nine million dollars. Thirty nine, okay. Per year. Yeah. Yeah, average. Yes. That's nuts. Um get your money. I, I love it. I say this to say this. <sighs> Paying Daniel Jones is gonna be tough. Because like you mentioned, they just and what people don't realize is our whole division had an easy schedule this year. Like it wasn't just the Eagles, it was the Giants, it was the Commanders. I think Dallas had the the hardest schedule out of all four of our and teams. And the Giants are gonna continue to have an easy schedule. And it was Eagles, Giants, Commanders, Cowboys, if I remember correctly. They won nine to ten games. What was it, nine games? So they pretty much they pretty much got into the playoffs, but this is what a Roster that still needs some fixing to do in an easy schedule. Now, you're walking into this offseason. You got to pay Saquon. You got to give Daniel Jones his money. You need some receivers. You still need some help on the defensive end. I mean, this team, you have the coach, which is perfect. You got that pretty much locked in. But this is a team that, do you want to pay Saquon that much money? He's nearing his prime. You know, he's also been dealing with injuries his whole career. You also don't have a one, number one, two, or three as a receiver. You don't have either one of those. You you don't have a two or a three with Hodgins and, you stop. and Slayton? Dude, I don't think Saquon's Shepard? coming back, bro. I'm not mad at it. He wants money. I'm not mad at it. He wants big money. And running backs can be can can they, they can be replaced. As much they as Saquon, as great as Saquon well, like, is, right. they can be replaced. And then your offensive line, they still need some help on the offensive line. So this is like you need so much. And I think making the playoffs was great, but it happened so fast and happened so early. And now Daniel Jones, you got to pay him. It kind of puts you in a crutch. I mean, if I'm the Giants, I don't see any other option because you don't have a high enough draft pick to get a quarterback. You also don't – you still want to be competitive. So you, you're kind of in a bit of a middle line here. I think you pay Daniel Jones. You do give him that type of contract. Try to try to lowball him as much as you fucking can. You know, try to get it. Ah, we'll give you like three years, 75 mil. Yeah. How does that sound? Just try to lowball or try not to give him as much guaranteed money. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, the Giants, as great as this season was, you know, this season's been impressive. Yeah. You can't knock that. They kind of shot themselves in the foot with bringing in Dable, which is not a bad thing, but bringing in Dable, which in turn leads to Dable making Daniel Jones play amazing, which in turn leads to Daniel Jones now needing that money, which in turn leads to you guys putting yourselves in a hole to not help the team. I think you made a lot of great points there. I mean, you take Dable if you have to overpay DJ, but, you know, like you said, you need a build off last year for the Giants. And the reason we point to all these deficiencies is because Daniel Jones is a fine quarterback. He's not bad. He's not great. Josh Allen can plug in a lot of those holes and make you a 13-win team. Daniel Jones making a 9-win squad.